I didn't do it. Hey, I recognize you from the circle. I, I, I know what they've been saying about me, but this, not my doing. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not broken up about them dying, to be perfectly honest. Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. That's what he would call me whenever he kicked me in the head, so I guess it was pretty accurate, right? I am Anders, at your service. Mage and wanted apostate. An apostate? At Vigil's Keep? You weren't here when we arrived. I'm sure I would have remembered such a lovely woman as yourself. We were just stopping here on our way back to the tower. Just a short rest, they said, and now they're dead. Such a shame. Then you and I will get along just fine, I think. Look, I suppose I could help you with the rest of these darkspawn, or you could just let me go. They'll send more Templars to find me eventually. They always do. Then you have it. Are you sure about this, Commander? I can't say I'm fond of these darkspawn, even though I'm no Grey Warden. Let's deal with them now, and we can discuss what comes later. Later. Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. Oh, I know, I know. Most people enjoy being kicked in the head to be woken up each morning. Me, I'm just so picky. They'll send more Templars to find me eventually. They always do. No, I don't expect you could, could you? Well, tell you what. I'll help you and we can discuss what comes later. Later, once all these bastards are properly put down, yes? Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. Of course. Well, they helped, a little, before they tragically died. They'll send more Templars to find me eventually. They always do. Oh, that is rather marvellous of you, to be honest. I'll just slip out the way you came. Good luck to you, then. Have fun slaughtering the Darkspawn. Maker knows they could use it. Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. You don't remember me. I'm Anders, mage and wanted apostate. I'm sure I would have remembered such a lovely woman as yourself. So they kept saying, although come to think of it, there's no real way to know for sure, is there? The Templars captured me and were taking me back, and then, you know, Darkspawn attacked. Could be a sign, yes? Isn't it, though? The Maker moves in mysterious ways. Could be a sign, yes? True, these Darkspawn don't leave much time for chit-chat, do they? Such a shame. That's what they call someone who doesn't believe in being chained up in the tower, so yes, I suppose I am. So, just a thought. You might want to be careful out there. I think the big darkspawn who led the attack is out there. At least, he was earlier. I know, I know, I'm really bad at the whole fugitive from justice thing. I was already on the road, and I thought, well, I couldn't just leave. Not yet. So I came to help, and kill Darkspawn. They kind of go together, I hear. Coming to fight Darkspawn is sort of the opposite of getting out of trouble, isn't it? They kind of go together, I hear. What? No pony for little Anders. At least, he was earlier. Other than the fact that I was running away from here earlier? Not really. So I came to help, and kill Darkspawn. They kind of go together, I hear. Thank me later. I'm pretty good. Trust me, you'll be mighty grateful I came back. Ah, oh, can you smell that? That is the smell of freedom. It comes complete with the smell of dogs and dust. But the freedom is in there, too. I may not have a choice about fighting the Darkspawn, but this is a step up for me. I escaped from the tower seven times. After the last time, they put me in solitary confinement for a year. Eventually, I'm sure they would have branded me a Maleficar, true or not, and executed me. You know as well as I do, don't you? The problem is that majors are tolerated, barely. It's like you need permission to be alive. There's nothing a mage can do to prove himself. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. Right. Too bad for us. Uh, all I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. See? I knew you understood. Never mind me. 
Now and again, I recall that I'm not sitting in a cell and I have to smile. That's all. Eventually, I'm sure they would have branded me a Malifica, true or not, and executed me. Would you? Someone slaps a collar on you and your response is, well, I guess I'll just live with it. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. But if Inter Imperium has a better way, but we know how that argument flies around here. <sighs> All I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. Well, excuse me for living, but the freedom is in there too. Oh, the fact that there are pies around to smell is a step up for me. I've had a pieless existence, more or less. I'm sure they would have branded me a Malifica, true or not, and executed me. They're not murderers. They only kill mages when they can prove we're dangerous, for the good of all. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end! I should certainly hope so. <sighs> All I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. Does it also come with suspicion, condemnation, and the loss of all personal freedom? The right to shoot lightning at fools. True. I want a harem, a banquet, and the ability to rain fireballs upon every Templar in creation. I'm sure they would have branded me a Malifica, true or not, and executed me. Well, sure. Now I am. Don't think the irony is lost on me. There's nothing a mage can do to prove himself. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. Yeah, I know elves have it bad, but I don't see anyone locking you up just for being what you are. Everyone needs to be protected from you. The end. Says the noble born on the right side of humanity. <sighs> All I want is a pretty girl, a decent meal, and the right to shoot lightning at fools. Hmm. Maybe I'm closer to the dream than I imagined. I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. I am fluent in sarcasm. You can't fool me. Nemea is a friend. Last time I escaped from the tower, I asked her to look into some things. That's why I was in Amaranthine. The Templars thought I'd come to take a ship, but it was to meet her. During the Blight, the Templars moved their store of phylacteries to Amaranthine for safety. My phylactery is among them, Nemea learned. So long as the Templars have that sample of my blood, they can find me. I need to destroy it. What's to stop the Chantry from deciding mages and the Grey Wardens are apostates too? I want to be sure they can't ever find me again. Ever. They might. I only know mine is there for certain. It is, and you should consider looking for your phylactery too. I know we're busy killing Darkspawn and all, but the sooner we find this vial, the better I'll feel. I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. She's normally more welcoming than that. A lot more. I need to destroy it. Why? Because I'll become a Malifica? Because apostates are so dangerous? It's all hysteria the Chantry uses to keep magic under its thumb. I want out. So it's one set of chains exchanged for another. I shouldn't expect more by now. Have it your way. And here I almost believe the infamous Anders wouldn't take the bait. Ha! Huh, yes. I suppose I should have known it would be you. You made a poor choice with this one, Commander. Anders will never submit, not to us and not to you. Oh, the phylacteries were here. I knew Anders would never be able to resist. Oh, the way you flatter me. I'll make sure that this murderer is never a bother to anyone again. What? No, you can't arrest me! King Alistair allowed my conscription. The Chantra's authority supersedes the crown in this matter. You cannot hide within the Grey Warden's ranks. Hardly surprising from yet another mage. I do not know how you inspire such loyalty, Anders, but it will avail you naught. Now you come with us. Hmm. I wonder if Nemea knew about this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Thank you. You stood by me, and I appreciate that. I suppose there are worse things than being needed. Anyhow, let's go before someone else rushes in to waggle a finger at us. You stood by me, and I appreciate that. 
That's because they're all jerks. You stood by me, and I appreciate that. I wasn't planning on running away from the Wardens. I've no idea whether you believe that. You stood by me, and I appreciate that. Nearly getting us all killed? I've no plans. You stood by me, and I appreciate that. I... guess they do. You made a poor choice with this one, Commander. Thanks for the support. No, really. The Chantra's authority supersedes the Crown in this matter. You cannot hide within the Grey Warden's ranks. You need to pick better hiding places, mage. Evidently. You know, I would have fought for you. I never wanted anything more than to decide my own fate. No one decides their own fate. The Maker's will is absolute. Look at that! <laughs> Was Andraste really that much of a looker? Don't you think she would have been, I don't know, a barbarian? Why not? She was a real person once, wasn't she? What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing mages to fight demons, or be made tranquil? The Magisters, yes. But are mages to be held responsible for what they did forever? Seems to me that Andraste counseled men to seek their own path to the Maker. But the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. Says the fellow mage. Oh well. She's still quite a looker for a prophet. I'm just saying. I don't know. A barbarian? Sure, but Andraste was a real person once. Before she up and married the Maker, I mean. But the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. Sure, but we're not dragons. We can think for ourselves, usually. I don't know. A barbarian? Just wondering aloud. After all, Andraste did exist, didn't she? What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing mages to fight demons, or be made tranquil? No doubt you're right. But the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. That's so sweet of you. I'm all a tingle. So what would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden? Is it? You've never thought about it. Does nobody ever leave the Wardens? It's just a question. There are worse things to be, I guess. I've never liked the idea of being trapped somewhere, to be honest. It reminds me of the Circle. After my seventh escape attempt, you'd think they'd have given me credit for trying. I got really good at escaping the tower. Just never good at staying escaped. Until now, I suppose. You know, there is one thing I miss about the tower. <laughs> my cat. Mr. Wiggums. He wasn't my cat, he was the tower's mouser. But he took a liking to me. There were days when that stupid cat was the only person I saw. Except for it not being a person. Still, I liked him. Poor Mr. Wiggums. He became possessed by a rage demon. But he did take out three Templars. Oh, I was never more proud. A toast to Mr. Wiggums, then. May he forever eat mice in the Fade. So what would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden? Really? Once you drink the blood, it's all downhill, eh? Huh? You'd think they'd have given me credit for trying. They can't make you tranquil once you've passed your harrowing. I'll wager they regret that rule. You know, there is one thing I miss about the tower. <laughs> My cat. It wasn't mine. Just a mouser that hung around the tower. Oh, a vicious little tabby. Poor Mr. Wiggums. I didn't name him. That was a cute elven apprentice who liked to wear hats with kitty ears. So what would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden? Irrevocable, huh? Does that mean nobody ever leaves the Wardens? You can run, but you can't hide. I think I've heard that before. After my seventh escape attempt, you'd think they'd have given me credit for trying. No, no, no. I'm just happy to be away from the circle, one thing at a time. You know, there is one thing I miss about the tower. <laughs> My cat. Oh, ho, 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 you're funny. For a tainted Grey Warden fated to die fighting the Darkspawn and all. So what would you do if you didn't have to be a Grey Warden? That's what I thought. You've never thought about it. Does nobody ever leave the Wardens? 
But it doesn't mean you stop being a warden, I suppose. Just never good at staying escaped. Until now, I suppose. The only thing I ever missed about the circle was that cat, to be honest. So I do. How are you doing in there, Sir Bounce a lot? Ha! <laughs> You'll be a fine mouser yet! Can cats be Grey Wardens? Hmm. A toast to Mr. Wiggums! Don't you agree, Sir Pounce a lot? Who's a good kitty? You are. Oh, yes, 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 you are. Oh, look at the cute little kitty! He looks like Mr. Wiggums. Oh, but I don't know if I should keep him. We got into some dangerous scraps. I suppose. Well, I'll keep him just for a while, until I find somewhere safer. Is that okay with you, Kitty? I'll call you Sir Pounce-a-Lot. You can stay in my pack. Just for a little while, yes? We got into some dangerous scraps. I'm not sure. It seems cruel to just leave him. We got into some dangerous scraps. But I don't want to just leave him here. Oh, look at the cute little kitty. There was a mouser in the tower named Mr. Wiggums. Only company I had when the Templars locked me up. I miss that beast a lot sometimes. But I can't keep a cat. We fight Darkspawn for a living. You know where it's nice this time of year? Ravain. I hear the white beaches at Lomeran are warm. I'm saying that Ravain is sounding far more hospitable than Ferelden. In fact, it's about time for me to go. The Warden thing has been fun, but... Well, you don't want me here. The Templars will chase me down eventually. But Ravain is a long, long way for them to go. Another time then, Commander. Good luck with the whole Darkspawn thing. The Warden thing has been fun, but... Well, you don't want me here. Duty, is it? I'd hate to have it said that I was the sort of mage who never paid attention to the important things. Fair enough, Commander. I'll stay. For now. I hear the white beaches at Lomeran are warm. I think I'll go there sooner than someday. In fact, it's about time for me to go. The Warden thing has been fun, but well, you don't want me here. Now you're beginning to sound like a Templar. I was tempted to leave in the middle of the night, but I thought a fare thee well would be polite. Chase me if you wish, Commander, but the time has come for me to go. Until we meet again. The Chantry has a monopoly on all Lyrium the Dwarves mine. They kill anyone who tries to get around it. The smugglers do, I'll bet. I used to be a good little Andrustian. I said my prayers, repented my sins, all of it. Yeah, it could have been worse. I could have been made tranquil, haggling over the price of a wand. Or I could be with the Canari. I hear they leash their mages. Or I could be dead. Dead's bad. If I didn't have perspective, I'd still be sitting in a Templar dungeon drooling on my small clothes. A related question. What do Grey Wardens do when there aren't Darkspawn running amok? I mean, are there parties? Do, do we travel the world? Take over small kingdoms? Really? They let us do all that? Ooh! Me? I intend to take up knitting. I'll send a scarf to the Templar commander every Saturnalia. Provided I don't end up in some ogre's belly, chewed up into tiny mage pieces. But I'm an optimist. They kill anyone who tries to get around it. Sure, why not? I've always fancied life as a lyrium smuggler. Maybe I'll wear a dashing chapeau. I used to be a good little Andrustian. I said my prayers, repented my sins, all of it. Then the Templars showed up one day and dragged me off without so much as a buy or leave. <laughs> yes. They do love to make a show of how they're doing it by necessity. Or I could be dead. Dead's bad. Not when I'm eating. And certainly not during sex. I'm not a monster. Take over small kingdoms? Hmm. Hopefully someone comes to dust off the cobwebs every now and again. I said my prayers, repented my sins, all of it. Life as a hedge mage, brewing love potions for villagers and hoping nobody notices? Or I could be dead. Dead's bad. Right. Death to the Darkspawn. Ra. Take over small kingdoms? Ah, you are a scholar and a gentleman. May I point out that you are alright? You're alright. 
Really, when the Templars came for me, you could have decided I wasn't worth the trouble. But I apparently am worth the trouble. Considering I'm usually a lot of trouble, I should be grateful. When you recruited me, I thought I was jumping from the frying pan into the fire. But being a warden is almost tolerable. It's a pleasant stroll through the park, with Darkspawn. You're a giver. I'm very grateful. I thought it was worth mentioning. Thank you, Commander. For everything. May I point out that you're all right? And the picture of virile heroism. And a scholar. Considering I'm usually a lot of trouble, I should be grateful. I'm glad to be around. It's a pleasant stroll through the park. With Darkspawn. Nothing's perfect. Considering I'm usually a lot of trouble, I should be grateful. Just point at someone and they get a magic bolt in the backside. <laughs> Especially if they're a Templar. I'm just saying. It's a pleasant stroll through the park. With Darkspawn. Yes, I know. Very serious. May I point out that you're all right? And remarkably lovely, if I'm allowed to say. You? You want to find Serrani? Why? This elf should be brought to justice. Why should we assist her at all? Because she's a looker. What do you think her sister's like? Who? <whistles> oh, I, I mean, Darkspawn bad. My name is Valana, if you care for such things. <laughs> 